<laughs> hello you guys it's t here welcome back to my channel oh my goodness really y'all should be saying welcome back to me it has been a minute y'all i know it's been a minute um i'm just so happy to be back in front of the camera man i was going through it you guys i really was so much has happened good bad ugly if i'm honest but you know it's a blessing and to be back and i just want to continue doing what god has called me to do so i'm here girl i'm here and i kind of just i just want to start fresh you guys know me as t but my name is actually tahila i just randomly thought i'd share that with you guys my name is tahila this video is okay because i took so long i'm going to be sharing two story time slash testimonies about things God has done for me. One was around last Christmas time. And then the second one was just this past August. So I'm gonna be sharing those two um, stories with you guys as well. But I do wanna start fresh a little bit, you know, tell you guys about myself. Um, like I said, my name is Tahila. Um, I'm 21. Um, I live in Florida. <laughs> All right, I guess I shouldn't share too much, but <laughs> I live in Florida um, and, you know, my purpose is just to encourage people, you know, encourage women to, you know, live for God and, you know, and like I've always said, I'm on this journey with you guys as well. So I really just want this channel to be so interactive and I just want God to get the glory and I really just want to reach one person. So anyways. Um, I'm really excited. I miss y'all. Like, I literally, I love recording. I love making these videos. You would think, like, okay, why don't you post all the time? <sighs> life, man, life. <laughs> um, so, okay. I want, <laughs> there's so much I want to say. You know what? I want to give you guys sort of like a life update, but I'll save that for another video, but I'm going to get into these two stories right now. So, the first testimony um, that I want to share with you guys was around Christmas time of last year. Um, so Christmas of last year, y'all, this was like pre-corona. Um, so it was around Christmas time, you know, we go, we're going out shopping and trying to find gifts and whatnot. And, um, I had got so sick, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the people who say, yo, I had corona, like around Christmas time. <laughs> For real, y'all, I, I got so sick around Christmas time and I didn't know why. This is, mind you, this is December. You know, Corona started popping off like a couple months later. So I could have sworn that I had it. I didn't really have it, but <laughs> I could have sworn that like something was going around. Like so many people around me were sick or whatever. Anyways, so I, um, I was extremely sick, y'all. Like chills, like horrible flu symptoms. It was just really bad like I love going out with my siblings like going to the mall and all that and like my siblings wanted me to take them to the mall and I literally couldn't even I, I couldn't even drive like chills pounding headaches so this one night I was laying in my bed and it was probably like three or something in the morning it was like three or it was really early in the morning and everybody was sleeping and y'all I was I could not sleep because I was shivering so bad. Like I could not stop shaking. And I'm just like, you know, it really almost made me want to cry because I just wanted to rest. I just wanted to go to sleep and I was just shivering uncontrollably. And I'm laying there. And you guys, I don't know what it was. The first thing that came to my mind, I, I'm laying there shivering uncontrollably. I just want to get some peace. Y'all, I laid my hands on my right arm and I said in the name of Jesus like God help me like I just said in the name of Jesus when I tell you guys it was like an injection just spread through my entire body the chills stopped instantly and it was like when I laid hands it was like something spread all over me and the chills just stopped completely and I was just like I almost started to chuckle but I was like oh my god I didn't know what I don't know if I had built up all the faith that I had in my in my heart I don't know what it was but I guess I just had 
truly believe that God can heal me in that moment. It kind of reminded me of um, the woman with the issue of blood. Um, how Jesus, he, she just wanted to touch the hem of his garment and she was healed immediately. And it was like, she had that faith and knew that, you know, God would, God would heal her. You know, she was, she had that issue of blood for over 12 years. And, you know, when she just wanted to touch the hem of his garment and Jesus felt, Jesus felt her faith leave him. He felt the healing leave his body and she was healed immediately and i couldn't help but resonate with that story after the situation happened so so yeah i was just so um i was so uh impacted by that you know just calling on the name of jesus and the power that it still has and we just have faith and believe that god will show up on time when we need him and that was one of the first times something like that happened where it was just so instantly and you know just it's just one of the many reminders of how real god is and how present he is and that he he listens to us and he hears us so i encourage y'all you know don't call in the name of jesus anything that you're going on let that be your first response um so anyways now on to the story and to, that one was a little bit short <laughs> this one's gonna be a little bit longer <laughs> This story and testimony, um, this happened right at the end of August. So me and my sister, we had flown to um, Baltimore to see my other sister. I'm gonna make this real quick, y'all. <laughs> and we had flown to Baltimore to see my sister and she lives up there. So we, um, we were just going there to spend some time with her. And that was like our first time traveling like without our whole family up there. So. It was um, super exciting. And so my sister, so, okay, we're up there and you know, each day we're like walking around town and you know, doing this and doing that. It was such a crazy trip y'all, like, <laughs> but, it was, but it was super fun overall. So throughout the week, you know, we're doing different things, you know, having a good time. And this one particular night, we had all went out. We were just walking downtown. We had just had dinner and I had my wallet with me. So I'm walking with my sisters and my brother-in-law and, and my nephew and we're walking. And um, I have my wallet in my in my um, my arm, right? And my wallet is big enough to where my phone can fit inside. So I had it in my arm and, and normally like, this is something I do like literally every day. So we're walking and it's nighttime, keep keep in mind. So we're walking down the sidewalk. I'm pushing my nephew in his stroller. And I'm walking. We had stopped by this store, right? And I had taken a picture of the hours because we didn't know like when they were gonna um open next. So I taken a picture of the hours and I had put my my phone back in my wallet and I had it in my arm. I think I had I was starting to put it inside of the stroller, but I realized it wasn't fitting, so I think I put it back in my arm so we're walking 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 we get like half a mile maybe up the road and we get to the store we, we were gonna stop at a gas station so i go into the um i go to reach for my wallet right y'all why was my wallet nowhere to be found you guys i started to panic you guys my phone was in there, my ID, social security, debit card, credit card, everything. I know some of that stuff I probably should even had in there, but all of my stuff was in there. Everything, my phone included, all my information and my cell phone. And I can't even express it. You guys know that feeling when you can't find your phone for two seconds. I can't tell you the panic that went through my body. And mind you, I am outside in Baltimore. I told you I live in Florida. I was just like, oh my God, I cannot, I couldn't find it. I'm looking all through the stroller. And you guys, so I'm looking up and down the street. I'm looking through the bushes, the garbage cans, trying to find my stuff. Mind you, you need your ID to fly anywhere. And I was just really freaking out. So you guys, so then my brother-in-law, he starts looking up and down the road. Everybody's trying to help me find it. And you guys, like we could not find my wallet phone and I was freaking out you guys so then there was a point where I was like 
I can't find it. And you know when you have that little bit of hope, but then it starts to dwindle and dwindle. I could not find it. So then we get back to the house and I'm just crying. I'm like, oh my gosh, why me? I'm over here, I gotta cancel my cars, my my phone. Y'all know, don't even, don't even fry. Y'all know how y'all feel about phones. I was like, my phone, I'm crying and stuff. So then I, um, man, so then my sister, she's like, you know, calm down, it's okay. Like, do the find your iPhone, do this, do that. You know, trying to keep a level head while I'm just like crying and distraught. I got my parents crying. I'm just like, I can't find my wallet and stuff. And so you guys, I was so bummed out for like the next two to three days. I could not find it. And you know, at first I was just like, I just felt so devastated. I just felt beat. I was like, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I was just like, this totally sucks. Like I went from really down in the dumps to just like, whatever. <clears throat> and Every time we would go back, we would go out after that had happened. I was just hoping I would find it in some bush. I would just find it in the ground somewhere. But every time we go out, I never would find it. And I was just like, wow, I'm all the way in a whole other state. And you know, I'm gonna have to figure out a way home and without my ID and all this stuff. So then Sunday come, rolls around. And mind you, we were gonna leave the next day. So I wake up that Sunday morning and I'm just like, I don't know what it was. Oh, we had watched a sermon. Um, we were watching a sermon online. Me and my sisters were watching it together. And you know, you just, you ever just watch one of those sermons and it just really just fills your spirit. You're just like, wow. Like just a way, a really great way to just start your day, fill your spirit and, and all that. And we had watched that. And you know, I felt really filled and just blessed. And me and my sister, we had once to, after all that, we watched the sermon, we had once to go get breakfast for all of us. And we're walking and I was just telling her, I'm like, you know, I feel really, you know, content with it. You know, at first I was upset, but I was just like, you know what, you know what, God, if it's your will, it's your will. It's okay. You know, um, if I, if I don't have my phone or my wallet, it's okay. You know, everything happens for a reason. It's going to be fine. We'll work everything out. It'll be okay. And I was just... I had a moment of peace and I was content with what had happened. And I remember just talking to her, I was like, you know, you can't fight the things that happen in your life. You just have to continue to be grateful and thank God and just, you know, let things go and not fight so much the things that we can't control. And we were just talking about that and I just genuinely felt at peace and content with losing my everything, my phone and my wallet and everything like that. I kid you not, y'all. I kid you not. We get back to the apartment. So my, my sister's here and she's like, she's like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? So she picks up her phone. She has a missed call. And I see her scurrying around and she's she has a call, a missed call. And I'm just like, what's going on? And she's like, okay. Like I hear her talking and I hear her call someone and I'm like, what's going on? And my sister, she hears what's going on too. So long story short why did somebody call her phone saying that they had found my wallet oh this number had popped up on the screen they had found my phone and my wallet you guys i was in utter disbelief i, I started crying i, I cried happy i cry sad <laughs> i started crying because i was like I was like, God, there's no way you just did this. I just, I just was thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, because you guys, when I finally had that moment of contentment, I was like, I'm okay if I lose my phone and my wallet. Like I was like, God, okay. Like I had just released and I was just like, God, you know, if it's your will, it's your will. My wallet turned, my phone turned up. And I was just like, this is literally a miracle. And when I tell you, the, the the way that we were walking was a straight line. If I had dropped it somewhere, it would have been where, where we had left it. It was just a miracle that I found it. And, and this is a busy, busy, busy road. And I was just like, oh my God. It was such a miracle. And, you know, what that taught me was the importance of being content 
in the place in the seasons that God has you in you know it's not always gonna be comfortable and it's not always gonna be you know the ideal situation but just resting that everything's gonna be okay regardless and being content in the season that we're in that's when you know things start to happen God sees the condition of your heart you know what I mean so I don't know if it was because God saw that wow you know she's she's content right now you know let me turn things around and in an instant God can turn things around so I just want to encourage you guys to trust to trust in God you know be content in the season that he has you in because it's always for a reason and God is always trying to teach us something so so yeah I just I really wanted to share those with you guys um I really hope you can find some encouragement in in these testimonies that God is an on-time healer and he hears us and then being content and trusting in God's will you know that's when miracles happen um so yeah you know but I love you guys and I miss you guys and I'm telling you I'm just on fire and you're gonna see some videos soon I promise this time <laughs> but um but I love you most importantly Christ loves you